Hello, this is Edna White. I am so glad you're with me today. Today, I'm going to roll back the curtains on fear. You know, I always talk about fear. I always talk about it because it's the thing that really holds us down and holds us back from achieving what we want in life. So here we go. I'm going to open the curtains just a tad bit more. You're welcome to listen in. That dirty four-letter word, fear. So you're probably wondering if the fear is keeping us stuck, is it just how our brains work? How we can, how can we ever overcome what to do and how to do it and what we dreamed of, what we desire? Like that job you really want, that career you want to switch from one area to the next, that supervisory position, or even transitioning from your career to your own business. It turns out it's a really simple, but it's something that you have to work on and it helps you get unstuck. It's not a hack. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not easy, especially with layers of things that you already got going on. It's going to take your willpower. And I spoke about that yesterday in my live, which you can check it out anytime you want. It's on the videos here. So check this out. First, I need you to do one thing. Recognize fear is given. It's a given. It's part of one of the gifts we get. One, to stimulate us to know that there's some change that's happening. And two, to recognize that something dangerous is happening. It's part of being a human. If you or your caveman ancestors, maybe, have a healthy fear of a man-eating tiger, right? No one will blame you. I'll move it forward just a tad. If you are afraid of a bee and you start running, no one would blame you because you're afraid of getting stung by a bee, right? So that means you can't get rid of your fear. Don't worry about the hacks. You can't get rid of it. What you can do is learn how to acknowledge it, recognize it, and then use it to help you be intuitive on how to move to your next steps. So I hope you're not waiting for it to disappear for your next steps. Because if you aren't, you'll be waiting forever. But you can shift your relationship to fear because it was never meant to be a stop sign. It was only there to give you a warning and you to think, hmm, what's really going on? Look, healthy fear is good. And we can reserve it for things like lions, tigers, bears, Oh my. And it, it's an exciting indicator that you're about to merge onto a new road full of endless possibilities. And yeah, you might even want to slow down and pay attention. That's what fear really wants you to do is slow down and pay attention. But if you ever merge onto a highway and you know you definitely won't don't want to stop. You don't. You got to pay attention, right? Especially when you're driving. You're driving, you're merging on, and then all of a sudden, you're not going to take a break. You're going to really be watching everything that's going on. That's what fear is. After all, even in the face of tigers, you as your caveman or the caveman as your ancestors couldn't cower in their caves all day, no matter how safe that would, that would make them feel. They had to go out and discover new paths and new strategies to build lives in which they could thrive, even in the midst of impending danger. So what's the, the safeguard for, the, for fear? Whether you're merging onto a brand new road or you're avoiding man-eating tigers. A second set of eyes. Someone to help you see what you might be missing. And, that, and to that end, I can ask you to invite me into your life to see what your fears are, right? 
to so schedule a free strategy session with me. And as your expert, I can give you powerful sources that help you balance things out and then give you an unbiased feedback and a fresh perspective no matter where you're starting. Yeah, I know. You say, I knew this was a pitch, right? Well, I'm going to tell you this. Your ancestors, the cavemen, if they stayed in their fear and if they were alone, they stayed in their fear, they would never have come out and the world would never have strived. They had somebody that said that said to them, ugga, bugga, bugga, and made them think, okay, I got to get strong. I got to get back in there. That's me. In your 90-minute session, one-on-one -on -one with me, I will help you map out your next steps on your career journey, on your entrepreneurial journey, on your entrepreneurial journey. I can help you do that. Listen, with this high level individual support system, you'll be able to leave your stop signs and your tigers where they belong in the past. So I want you to embrace your future. With just that little bit of information, just embrace your future and reserve your one-to-one -one right here. Look down in the bottom of this video, click the link and get your first 30 minutes free when you schedule your first 90 minutes. So that's, that's 120 minutes of time with me. Do it today and you'll discover new paths and new strategies to build your life so you can thrive.